Hey y'all, it's Anna Banks. Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys haven't seen me in a really long time, but you know, I've been busy, got some stuff going on, but I'm back now and that's all that matters. I honestly had quite a difficult time figuring out what type of video I was gonna film, especially since my content has kind of been all over the place. But I did ask you guys on my Instagram and on my Facebook what you wanted to see. And a lot of people said that they wanted to see a question and answer video. Now, I'm not surprised because even though I've been absent from YouTube for some months now, I've been gaining a lot of new followers and a lot of new subscribers. So I'm guessing a lot of y'all want to know who the fuck I am and what the fuck I do. And the answer is a lot of shit. So I'm going to get started with my favorite questions from Instagram. And then I'm going to move on to the little YouTube get to know me tag, which is what someone suggested to me on Instagram. Yeah, so I have like 10 questions or so. These are from you guys. You guys are already following me, subscribe to me, whatever. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna put all the questions on the screen with the username. So, you know, some bad bitches in here. If you follow them or whatever, go do that, go do your thing. So, Chloe said, Where's the top place in the world you want to visit? Now, this is a really hard question for me because I don't have one top place in the world that I want to visit. I want to visit a lot of places. But if I had to go somewhere right, right now, I would definitely pick somewhere tropical. I'm thinking Costa Rica or an island, but definitely Costa Rica. Costa Rica has been a go-to dream for me for a while now. So I'd pick Costa Rica. She also said, <laughs> where did you and your man meet? So, if y'all haven't checked my Instagram, you wouldn't know, but you should. You got me a little man. Thank you. Or whatever. And I met him at the gym. I was working at a gym. And he came up to talk to me. But I was on the phone. I was distracted. So I didn't really pay much attention. And then after that, I started seeing him come in regularly. And then I ended up leaving my job. So I didn't see him again. But you know what? I'm Joe. So I found him anyway. And now he with me. So that's how I met him. I met him at the gym and then I enjoyed his ass. Now he can't escape. So, and Tamara said, explain to the people what it's like to be a real New Yorker. First off, I want to say, <laughs> and second off, I got some videos for y'all that explain what it's like to be in the scamming life of a New Yorker, like I am, all right? So I'm gonna just play them on the screen. And if you're not from New York, you're going to get a really good sense of what it's like to be from here, okay? ISIS, if you come to New York City and you try to blow anything up, I'm coming for you. Ya ISIS niggas, fuck ya ISIS niggas. We from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. Fuck ISIS. <laughs> Nah. 
As you can see, I need help. Honestly, being from New York is a gift and a curse. It's really hard sometimes. You know, we have some crazy winters. We have some crazy crackheads. At the same time, we know how to hustle. We, we know how to turn shit up. So. The next question is from Fat Runner. He said, how thick are we getting? How thick are we getting for the summer? Baby, we are getting super extra thick, okay? Super extra thick. I'm gonna be on my thick shit. I wanna go to your page this summer. I better see you on your thick shit. And if you're not, it's gonna be a problem because it's thick bitches all 2020, okay? Um, the real Montas said, who's your favorite artist? This is a really hard question to answer as well because if you guys know me, I curate music. I listen to a lot of different artists and a lot of them are my favorite. There are way too many good genres, way too many good people in the industry, present and past. But there are a couple ones that I don't think I could live without. The first one, if you guys know me, you know this one very well, it's Snoop Dogg. I felt with Snoop Dogg so heavy because he was such a pioneer in the G-Funk movement on the west side. And that did so much for hip hop. Also, he's just a G, like the way he carries himself, the way he goes about things, the way he takes care of his family. And he experiments with almost every single music genre. He's done gospel, he's done reggae, he's done hip hop and rap, obviously. Now he's doing a lullaby album, like that shit is crazy to me. I totally look up to that man, I'm inspired by that man. And I'm gonna meet that man one day because you know I'm gonna be up there too, you know what I'm So my next favorite artist of all time is D'Angelo. I love D'Angelo, I love me some D'Angelo. I will listen to anything D'Angelo, I will watch anything D'Angelo. That man is a gift from God. I fuck with a lot of people that are heavily into soul or influenced by soul, like Aretha Franklin, Amy Winehouse, etc. etc. And I'll say for current, current artists, um, Cause most of my favorite favorite artists are from the past. Let's say my current current favorite artists are probably Friday Rich. I listen to anything by him, and Meg The Stallion. I listen to anything by her. And if I can get to your question, I'm sorry, but these questions take priority because they're funny as fuck. So Diane said, "What are the best things to shoplift?" Now I don't encourage getting into legal trouble or stealing or robbing innocent people but i will slightly encourage you to shoplift from a corporation okay we're gonna shoplift go to target go to walmart go to places that underpay their employees okay and take all that you can get put it in your titties put it in your pants put it in your bag put it anywhere cut off the tags what you gotta do get out that's why I'm gonna tell you to shoplift. Anything from a corporation. And if you're gonna do it, bring me some too, you know what I'm saying? Alright, y'all, so I'm not doing that um that little get to me tag because this video is already too long. So I'm gonna do that next time. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gonna post something else on Friday and yeah, it's gonna be more interesting than this, but just a little starter, just a little appetizer for y'all because y'all know I'm a fucking meal. So I'm gonna be back up. Alright.